And so, we found another location, and... We found a soldier, soldiers of the Red Army, a bowler hat on his head, helmet. There is also a disc, DP. He's got two of them, right? Yes, two. Perhaps this will be three. There are three bags, right? The soldier is in a semi-sitting position, leaning forward. Vasily, what do you have there? You also found a soldier, right? So you found the skull correctly? Clear. Now we will also watch. Like that. Helmet. Pot. Behind him I saw a Bakelite cup. Probably in his pocket. In a place, yes. Are probably in a backpack, right? In a backpack on the back. He had a broken flask there. And something else. Is it leather? Leather. Leather strap. It's probably from a backpack. Soldiers are lying here. As we say, immortal companies. Not buried. They didn't do it properly. Just left and forgotten. As if there was no human being. And the mothers were waiting for their sons at home. Children waited for their fathers. Millions have not returned. This is the truth of war. In the excavations we found German tiles. With chemical protection. There's a lot of it here. Below we found a Soviet helmet. It is possible that a soldier is here somewhere. The head is upside down and you can see that it is broken. There are bullets. One of them had a belt buckle. And, this is a grenade. German rifle grenade. Dangerous thing. Hole. No maggots in sight. Lining remnants. The green color is visible from this side. Now we can see it. That here green color. Steel helmet of the 1940 model. Before us is a Red Army soldier. We found things like a bowler hat on his head. The soldier's helmet is on his head. In this position, a soldier died sitting down. On the back of the backpack, the backpack contains a belt, cup, individual package. Bullet to the rifle Mosin or Detareva. Because there are two discs in the bag. These are DP-27 discs. Next is the shoulder blade on the belt. This is a sapper blade, a head. On his belt, there is a pouch. Most likely a German trophy. Further, boots. In this position is a soldier, sitting and fell forward. Fell forward flunked. This is the position of the soldier. This is our 100th soldier, number 100. That's how the soldiers are scattered in the trenches. We opened the hole, small size location. In the course of our work, we discovered zip bag for Maxime. It contained items such as hammer with copper solder, shutter and, and the buckle from the bag we found. And we also found these interesting pliers with clips.
Is there something there? Here is a spring on Maxime. Yes, there is something definitely there. It's a box, isn't it? Yes, this is a box from Maxime. We just discovered the full set on Maxime. Damaged. Yes, it is clearly damaged by artillery. Grenades. Sapper blade. Here's the second one. What have you got? This is a shield from Maxime. This is damaged on the left side. But Max isn't there. Max is missing. This is of course interesting. What do we have here? I thought it was a helmet, and it was a headlight. This is a headlight from a motorcycle. Ro. I think this is not enough for a tank. We found the box. German box. I was wrong. Not German but Soviet. A mortar belt is attached to it. This is tied here. It was pulled. It's filled. And there's another one here. There was probably a mortar position here. Another end also filled. Is there more? Or was it the last one? So we have two of them. They must have carried them on their shoulders. I see. Yes, we'll open it now and see. It's a belt buckle, right? Pull the handles. 80 second mines. And... What is it? You see something lying on its side? It's a pencil case on the side. And some more additions. Here's a pencil case. Yes, I agree. Show me the second box. And here everything is preserved in good condition. Beautifully lie. There are additional charges. They differ from the usual ones. Another pencil case, in good condition. You need to be careful. The lid is rotting but it's still green. A whole set. Dry. There are two boxes with additional charges. And with mines. Another location. The pit was excavated on the left side. And we found this piece of Bakelite in the middle of the pit. From the German MP38-40 submachine gun. Vasiliy, tell us what you found. This is a disc. 
обкапывать и видел черепную, черепную коробку. коробку зубами убил угу. вот. но зубы вроде бы так неплохие ухоженные да ухоженные да возможно не будем забегать наперед но возможно не the teeth are really good but we don't see any fillings yet the germans like to use automatic weapons of the ppsh minus 41 system These discs were on their belts. Because the fighting was close, good accuracy of shots from the machine gun destroyed the enemy. A large number of ammunition was much more convenient than the famous German MP38-40 machine gun. This machine was not very accurate. The machine gun was thrown up strongly during the shot. And there wasn't much ammunition. Учитывая, да. да, возможно, может поставка э, так же самого военного оружия, тех же самых патронов. There were a lot of captured weapons. Therefore, weapons were used very actively on both sides. By Red Army, also from the Wehrmacht, as well as SS troops. That's why we see the realities of war and we show them to you. In order to know how the war ended for people who are missing которые остались без вести пропавшими. And for those who died on these fields, you must see this truth that the books hide. Also, this truth will not be shown on television, it will be hidden. The authorities always tell the truth, which is convenient for them to tell. Unfortunately, people trust them. And even at the moment, people continue to believe in what is written in textbooks. We assume that a German soldier is here. His body parts are completely severed. On the left side is a grenade. This is an RGD-33 grenade. Pot. Disc. Conserver. The soldier has a discharge. German combat belts. Pot. IT is located in the hip area. Shop from MP. No token found. There are bullets in the pocket. They belong to the MP38-40 machine, or to pistols. MP08 or MP38, a soldier lies before us. He has severe injuries. The soldier was most likely thrown into the funnel. The soldier was lying on the surface just five paces away. There was a serious explosion. It was because of a rocket, the so-called Katasha. Here's the top view. The next location is only a short distance away. And so we found another signal. The signal is good. We can see that there are the remains of a soldier here. It is probably a leg. Is that a shin bone? Tibia. Now we will go deeper there may be one or more soldiers here. So far we've found two soldiers. The guys have just started raising the bones. Now we will start working here. Sasha went on to get a connection to the trench. Now there is a cleaning of the fighter. The soldier's body is not in anatomy. It was abandoned. Most likely the trenches were filled in and the remains of bodies were dumped here. The head is without the lower jaw. There are hip, there's an arm and there's a leg, there's a hand and then they dumped fragments of the dead bodies here, so we see them in this state. There are no more items right, so we can't figure out what kind of soldiers they are. There is only a Soviet helmet, sometimes there are PPSH bullets. Before us lies a soldier. Parts are very much scattered. If there wasn't a helmet here, we wouldn't be able to find its location. The soldier could be here for many more decades. We already have three such abandoned soldiers into the pit when their bodies are not in anatomy. What do you have there?
It's probably a lieutenant. Lieutenant. Junior lieutenant. A young boy. La here. Here more or less the bones are in anatomical order. As they threw the soldier here in this position he remained. This is a second lieutenant. Unfortunately there are no documents. Maybe. They can be under it, although there is no belt or anything else. The fact that they took off their shoes is understandable this is a lieutenant. There may be documents under the hip. Are there any pieces of paper? Fragments, yes. They need to be carefully removed. And wrap in foil. Finished working with the soldiers, was pulled down and thrown into the trench. It is clearly located on the half of the trench. He was thrown out in the middle of the trench. The skull is broken. There were heavy shrapnel hits. Completely shattered skull. This was a very serious hit. Instant death. We have already gathered about 20 soldiers. Four of them had documents. It is possible to establish the identity of the deceased. One of the soldiers had a personal identification badge. We sent it for examination. We are waiting and hoping that it will be possible to establish an identity. Although the personal identification mark was hit by a shard. This was shown in the previous video. Now we pick up the soldier in a part of the anatomy. His legs are broken. And the legs are detached from the pelvis. That's for sure. The soldier was already lying without limbs that had been destroyed by external factors. This is from the belt. Clamp. Made of zinc. Maybe the backpack was or the belt was. Parzok belt. From breeches hook. From the soldier's pants. Where's the star? Here's an asterisk. And two buttons from the shoulder straps. This is 1943. Junior Lieutenant. The second asterisk has not been found yet but we will try to find it. According to the idea, it should be somewhere in this area. Let's try to work with a metal detector. It's a greatcoat button, and the soldier is here. If you have found the remains of dead soldiers or graves, or know where these soldiers may be located, we ask you to contact US at the phone number shown on the screen.